This is Scott with Amateur Homestead. Today we are diagnosing a starting issue on just a standard lawnmower. This is a Craftsman or a Poulon or an MTD. They're all the same. Um, and I will just diagnose it and we will see what it is. I already know what it is, but anyways. Now if we hit the start, if we hit the key to start it, we should have power coming to the starter. We have no power coming to the starter. So now we work backwards in the system. Alright, so now we're going to check the starter solenoid to see if that's the problem. This lead here goes from the solenoid to the starter. So if we turn the key, it should light up and show that we got power. And there is no power going to that when we turn the key. So now we need to make sure we're getting power to the actual solenoid, which will be this next big terminal over here. If I touch it, test light says we have power. So the next step is to check to make sure that the key is sending power to the actual solenoid, which is... All right, so we need to check to see if the power from the key is coming down this wire and activating the solenoid. There we go. Stick this guy in there. And when I turn the key, we should have power. And we have power. So what that tells me is that the solenoid is defective. We will replace that and New it should starter start solenoid right up. is in. We still have power. That's the power lead to the solenoid. Uh, one of these wires up here. One of these wires is the ground. One of them is the power supply from the key. And then this one here, when the solenoid activates, sends power to the starter when the key sends power to it. You'll see me a lot. Oh, sorry. You'll see the light come on, but it's also going to start the second I turn the key. So, it was the solenoid the whole time. Thank you for watching, and please comment and subscribe.